Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Mercedes G63 AMG. It's very windy and you can see the dust and mud and whatever sand is actually flying away. This is not just another G63 AMG. This is actually the one tuned by Brabus. This is the Brabus 800 White Star. Why is it known as the White Star? Because it is wider of course and Brabus will charge you for almost everything to do on your car. This car comes courtesy of Diaz car rental to me here in Dubai. So if you want to rent this car, check the link in the pinned comment right away. So the key is the same as before and this one actually has a wrap. This blue wrap does look nice. Straight away we are going to be opening the engine bay because the engine is the same, has to be. However, they have actually tuned it. Now it says AMG here on the engine cover. You can get the Brabus engine cover as well. For that you have to pay additional money of course. Handcrafted by Peter. Have like Mercedes AMG Germany written right there. Engine bay is a bit dirty right now. The original color is red. It's obviously running a wrap. Straight away, let me shut this. Everything shuts with the ruggedness and the durability, and that's the reason why this is a very popular car. If you notice on the top, we have got these lights which have been added. In fact, let me climb here and show you. So they've added this element which further increases the drag. A lot of things have been done to increase the drag of this car, especially this pointless thing on the hood. Because this is not functional, this does not improve the breathing of the vehicle But this is obviously carbon fibre, so a lot of carbon on this car There's the Brabus logo, the typical placement of the indicators which is so iconic Full LED lights, so you also get headlight washers right there Now I think the Brabus logo is not aligned and that also illuminates at night This is not functional at all You get 6 parking sensors at the front which is needed for self park obviously Now if you see, AMG version obviously has flared wheel arches This has even further flared wheel arches so 10 centimeters is what the weight increases with these flared wheel arches and they have been done to accommodate bigger wheels because this car is actually running on 23 inch wheels stock is 20 inch so between 20 to 24 inch you have got the option of opting for it these are forged alloy wheels 10 spoke units they look fantastic look at the size of the brakes crazy and red colored brake calipers with amg written right there grab is written here and there you can see the suspension as well now a lot of pointless bits on this car which I don't like at all Like what is this and why is it there? It's not functional It has Brabus written right here But just pointless Brabus here as well Buy turbo 800 because 800 horsepower Exposed hinges but it's also exposing the red colour of this car Now something gets projected from here at night which looks cool There's a camera here, it obviously gets a 360 degree parking camera So in that sense it has got plenty of features And then because this is a Brabus it has to be over the top So they've added lights in places which kind of feel pointless because what is the use of this LED light in the day? Well, it is to eliminate this footboard or running board and there's a light here as well. The exhausts are always on the side but this one gets the performance exhaust and it says Brabus there and it is wetting itself right now. I don't know why because I've obviously put it into sports mode for the exhaust. The rear tyre size is the same as the front tyre size and you get blackened out tints on the windows obviously because it's super hot in Dubai. It's cold but it's hot. It's a weird climate right now. And then you can see a lot of sand flying here and there. Let's get into the rear because it is not very practical in this regard. There's not much space here. You get red seats but no red seat belts. Huh? So that's something which Brabus could improve on. AC vent placement here. Let me put this down. Yeah, rather up. Height adjustable seat belts. Okay, aircraft style here. And you get climate control air conditioning with three zones. So you can control the blower from here. AC events are similar to the aftermarket Thar ones and the dashboard looks very similar but you can customize to the moon and back because there's so many options with the Brabus. This is for seat heating of course. Not very practical, huh? Under the support is not the best. Legroom is not the best. Headroom is adequate. You get this nice finishing on the top and obviously you get a center armrest with twin cup holders and you get, what is this? Yeah, a USB charging socket. There's no USB-C in this car. Ashtray and a cigarette lighter too. Yeah, not a very practical car if I'm honest, honestly. And then you can see this is finished in red because this is actually running a wrap right now. So the wrap is actually brilliantly done. You don't realize unless and until you see it here. Obviously because this is a G-Wagon you can bang close the doors and then you will never ever worry about anything because this car is super duper robust. Now if you notice this is the Brabus so it has a rear spoiler which I don't know what it does because it says Brabus here. It's made of carbon, lot of carbon elements like what is this pointless stuff? So they've added this body kit on this car and that is the rear fog light. It says 800 right there, Brabus written right there as well. Now this spare wheel cover is also finished in carbon to reduce the weight of the car. I don't think it reduces much weight because they've added elements which increase the weight of the vehicle. Why is there always a spare wheel cover on a G-Wagon? Because the wheel is mounted the other way. So if you can see, the alloy is facing inwards. That's the reason why they have to hide the spare wheel. Otherwise it will look really bad. There is a rear wiper. 
मीन वाइल दिस इज एक्चुअली ट्वेंटी इंच टू सिक्सटी फाइव फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी सो स्टॉक स्पेयर व्हील ऑन दिस कार फुल साइज ऑन द नॉन मॉडिफाइड वर्जन ऑफ कॉर्स मीन वाइल लेट्स क्विकली ओपन द बूट बिकॉज इट हैज डिस अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस एज द पार्सल शेल्फ इज राइट नाउ मिसिंग हेयर आई डोंट नो वाई रियल दिस इज रियली नाइस एंड प्रीमियम एंड ऑब्वियसली हेयर यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ टूलिंग Yeah, I, I think the parcel shelf is no, 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 no. Don't I don't okay. I don't know why. What, what what is this? Okay, this is something which is probably a net or something. Quite useful if you go into adventure, obviously. And uh, there's a plastic bag here, speaker placement, 12 volt charging socket, light, and all that. Everything has been given here, but the boot is actually compromised when you put the parcel shelf because then you can't really load up higher up. Meanwhile, this opens. This is again kind of pointless because what will you do from here? Maybe it's a tickling function. if only if someone is sitting right here now this seat does not go ahead center passenger does get a head i don't know why this seat does not move that's kind of weird and then you can shut the car with full enthusiasm and i love the part of exposed hinges everywhere the good thing is that there's a secret storage space here you just lift the seat like this and there's some storage space here i don't even understand the logic of this but i think it is so that probably this seat will recline yeah it will yeah i was so wrong there it recline so you have to shut this okay there's a struggle happening today because yeah now you can actually fold the seat flat to increase the boot carrying capacity but there you can see the alloy wheel exposed obviously it says brabus here and it says amg right there so it's a mix of almost everything let's shut this and let's look at the rear tail lights because obviously the tail lights look nice you get rear fog lights on both the sides as well and this exposed bit with this red body color be showcased almost everywhere it's kind of weird obviously rap has its limitations car looks brilliant lights look nice obviously it has crazy amount of width for the tires look at the width of the tires now obviously this is a ladder frame so you can see the suspension the chassis everything can be seen right now it looks absolutely crazy this car there's a towing hook which you probably would never ever need considering the capabilities of this mercedes g wagon it looks like a refrigerator honestly because firstly it's very boxy and that's the reason why you have to fight wind especially when wind is at this speed look at that it's very windy when we started the video it was kind of dark now it's become kind of weird the temperature and all now you get a sunroof i don't know what this is this kind of weird i've never seen that before it's also here i don't know maybe drainage pipes look at that rear spoiler so freaking pointless three screws here carbon 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 everywhere you name it le lo carbon le lo so that's how they have done it by turbo 800 let's get inside first and foremost the seats are the stock one says amg here this is not very soft as such obviously you get memory seats so yes i press a button the seats will move the steering wheel will move under the support is never an issue so all the creature comforts of a g wagon but it does miss out on a few things which you would expect firstly the sunroof is a bit small how would i appreciate it a bigger sunroof i am from india i want big sunroofs i'm so sorry okay door pockets are big enough but mr sound system you would never want to hear it because step on the throttle and <laughs> the exhaust is so soothing and the interior is very much similar in fact brabus will take some money from you to make changes to the interior firstly it says blind spot assist inoperative check washer fluid thankfully check engine light is not on anymore it was on last night though so let's turn this off the usual g wagon affair however you get this sportier steering wheel with brabus written here flat bottom obviously these controls are better than the latest mercedes cars yeah these touch sensitive buttons are not that great and obviously you have got some controls here these are for the lights and then you have got seat heating ventilation for both the front seats and uh listen when i lock and unlock that's so soothing in a mercedes g wagon twitter placement right there there's no space only for a heads up display but you can see that unnecessary element right there which is not needed at all big mirror and overall quality of the cabin is fantastic piano black finishing here so brabus can do a lot more to the interior depending on how much money you spend and then this is a 12.3 inch screen which is not a touch screen so you have to operate using this rotary dial thankfully though it is very slick in operation so it's very nice and fast as well and then you have a lot of information here the usual bits which were there in older mercedes cars you do get massage which is known as relaxation right now so a lot of massage options here you get all the creature comforts this screen is also a fully digital one 12.3 inch again you can browse through a lot of things here because you can change stuff as you wish so there's something known as amg performance yeah it is so bad to operate this na touch sensitive thing you can see boost and what is the power talk what is the mode geforce meter and all that lap timer and all the multiple modes for this i will change it while driving of course the horn horn is not that great not up to g wagon standards three locking differentials lot of physical controls 
and uh, there is a 12 volt charging socket which is very important there is a key holder right here you know why this is important 12 volt charging socket because this car does not have usb c it has got two usb charging sockets and an sd card slot for what i don't know some storage space here leather and all is fantastic piano black gets dirty really fast in fact let's actually get into reverse and that is the reverse parking camera khul ja bhai khul ja yeah the camera is actually hidden and there you can see the car is finished in red so the wrap actually confuses you what is the original color of this car you've got multiple camera views so parking this car and all is never an issue any which way people just move aside when you get this particular car this is very handy ah huh? because when you accelerate you really need it and i mean the co-passenger needs it and glove box is also decent size coin holder why a person who owns a g-wagon has zero coins i'm so sorry maybe he has bitcoins or something of that sort and ambient lighting 64 colors obviously let me increase the temperature here okay does it change the color i can't see anything right now it is so freaking bright but yeah the usual mercedes bits especially since i made a video on the g wagon very recently and i made a video on the g63 mg let's focus on the performance of this car let's start driving right away All right, let's start driving. I love the way it sounds when you close the doors. You can bang close the doors, and there it rose to life. Blind spot assist, inoperative. Check washer fluid. All that is fine. Okay, command screen is taking some time. Let's turn off the air conditioning till then, because obviously we want maximum power. And straight away, I'm going to come into the menu, and we are going to put some sport displays here. So we get into vehicle. I know it is a bit uh, cumbersome without a touch screen. Dynamic select and engine data. straight away i am actually going to change the drive mode we are going to come into sport plus and into gear left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator time to launch revving the motor revs to 2000 3000 rpm almost 2500 rpm off we go performance is actually mind blowing yeah obviously it is mind blowing and the car feels is like a handful i didn't even expect the car to go so helter skelter on hard acceleration but somehow it does and why does it do that simply because this car is putting way too much power than it can handle so the result is that it just goes right left and center now i'll tell you the reason for this to happen this car is more rear biased so when you have rear biased power delivery obviously okay we are going through a different type of routes today because obviously there's a lot of sand dunes here and there so like i was telling you the problem with this car oh my god it is rear biased power delivery and when you accelerate hard the front lifts and when the front lifts now the steering input is not there only because it lifts little bit so the steering goes wobbling right left and center there's a lot of torque steer somehow there's just way too much power this car is insane amount of grunt too much power too much power too much power i always thought why mercedes gives so less power in the g63 amg but after driving this brabus i understand why because trust me there is just way too much power for this chassis to handle i mean it can handle it the only problem is that it just feels like a handful and feels kind of out of control around the corners there's so much body roll oh my god i am feeling very nauseous right now because brabus has actually gone ahead and messed things up by putting unnecessary body panels to increase the drag of this car but it sounds super duper nice the sound is really very amazing let's up shift now this is a 9 speed top converter automatic gearbox and there's too much wind also right now which you can see right ahead because of which obviously the car is moving around quite a bit so that's a slight problem right now and that's the problem with aerodynamics because this car has the aerodynamics of a brick it's a refrigerator of sorts that's how it feels like because there's just way too much wind resistance and way too much wind noise as well now what brabus has done is given it a lot more power which i will show you right now which means we're going to stop here we are going to launch it again so it doesn't have launch control it doesn't have race mode so here we are so straight away i'm actually going to come into neutral into first i don't know why the parking sensors keep getting activated there is nothing left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor wind rear 
surely affects this car and the brakes. Very strong brakes, yeah, very strong brakes. The brakes are so strong now that uh, the sun blind on the top it actually shuts when you apply hard brakes and it opens when you apply heavy acceleration. So that is how it is, which is kind of weird. Anyways, performance you saw it reaches the double ton. In fact, the standard top speed of the G63 AMG happens to be 220 kilometers per hour with the AMG driver's package. You can boost that to 240 kilometers per hour. This car has the boosted top speed to 240 kilometers per hour, which makes me want to launch it yet again. And this time I'm actually going to change the meter here so we are going to come right into the design the one on the latest mercedes cars is so easy you can just change it very fast but somehow it doesn't work that way here so we are going to come to the progressive one activate the g-force meter on this side we are going to come into the amg metrics on the left side amg performance and then again g-force meter is there so we are going to come into the power and torque meter which also shows me the power in, in kilowatt and the boost pressure as well left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator before that let me change this to vehicle data and here we go Redline actually comes in at around 7000 rpm and uh, it has lag lower down it is only past a certain rpm where the engine becomes like really ready for action in the higher end of the rev range beyond the mid range and that's where it pulls really hard and fast and the engine sounds really nice it's super duper loud now yeah it is quite loud because of the low profile tires this car is quite bad off the road and specifically speaking it's very capable because of three locking differentials and obviously it also has a very cool thing known as okay i think we have to go from that side i don't know which side i have to go from because it's so confusing right now there is no direction as such but anyways we will go from here so i was telling you it has got three locking differentials it is always full time four wheel drive system these are fully locking differentials by the way it has obviously got uh, beyond the locking differential low range transfer case as well but the low profile tires don't really help its cause right now because when you're driving it on such bad roads now if you can feel it so ride quality is not the best body on frame platform again not the best a lot more weight because of the body on frame so 2600 kgs is the weight of this car 2589 kgs if i am absolutely correct and there is this dynamic seat which every time you turn now you can feel the massage happening on the inner side every time so it feels very nice as well okay it gets a bit bouncy as such so yeah it's not uh, very stable and high speed stability is really bad because yeah no aerodynamics in this car so the standard g63 amg produces 577 horsepower and torque output of 850 newton meters from its 4 liter bi turbo v8 engine which is the same engine in this car but what Brabus has done is increase the performance dramatically because I think they changed the turbocharger. So this car is producing 800 horsepower. That's an increase of around 223 horsepower. Torque has increased from 850 Newton meters to 1000 Newton meters. And that's a lot of torque. Zero to kilometer per hour time has come down from 4.5 seconds to 4.1 seconds, which is very quick. Yeah, this is a very quick car considering the weight and the lack of aerodynamics. It is a very fun car to drive. Brabus has made this car absolutely mental and it feels so nice, especially when you're driving it in a higher gear. It pops, it cracks, it does all that as well, which is so soothing. Yeah, it is lovely. The steering wheel is really, very really nice. It gives you a lot of feel and feedback too. I wish the handling was better. I wish the ride was also better, but that is a restriction you have with a body on frame platform car. In fact, we're going to change this right now. Oh my God, the pops and cracks and everything. We'll come into dynamic data. The pops and cracks are just like crazy. We want to stop here. This car deserves launch control. Come on, Brabus, you should have given that as well. Now, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator and off we go. Did you not you have to continuously keep fighting with the steering wheel because the car goes helter skelter there's just crazy amount of performance the weight squats down and then lifts the front wheels and the front wheels become very loose on the steering wheel and that is the real problem here that it's just not able to put all that power down now if you think the g800 is way too powerful brabus also has a g900 what exactly is a g900 that's even more mental because the g900 has 900 horsepower obviously but they have increased the displacement of the engine 
taking it from 4 liters to 4.5 liters upgraded the turbo chargers and all that and the result is it makes 1250 newton meters of torque which the gearbox cannot handle so they have electronically limited the torque output to just 1050 rpm 1050 rpm did i just say just because 1050 rpm is way too much the top speed has increased from 220 kilometers per hour to 280 kilometers per hour i don't even know how someone will drive at that speed because there's just way too much body roll and there's way too much wind noise and there's just lack of stability and then aerodynamics are absolute garbage in this car so you have to worry, like wonder what is the point of even having all that meanwhile the best thing i find about the g-wagon is the feel you really feel that you are the king of the road and then obviously when you're circling around like that it's a guarantee to make you feel nauseous yeah it is quite top heavy a car now that car the g900 goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in a mind-blowing 3.7 seconds yeah that is super duper fast that's like crazy quick yeah that's unbelievably quick and fast i don't even know where you can put all that power down with the g-wagon the tires offer good amount of grip but this car is not off-road worthy anymore because of the low profile tires obviously and uh, you've got multiple drive modes so right now we are in sport mode so there's slippery individual comfort sport and sport plus and then you can press a button to turn on the active exhaust to make it louder still there's a manual mode as well we'll activate that right now yeah i've activated manual i'm going to apply brakes brakes are so strong now it's unbelievably fun to drive this car and listen to this now it barges into the red line at 7000 rpm and then everything becomes red on the cluster it's unbelievable this car is unbelievable fun i never expected that i will get to drive a brabus g wagon but once i'm getting the chance right now i am just blown over by the performance by the grunt by the ability of this car and obviously i can take it like that land cruiser on those dunes and all but i've been told not to do that because obviously a lot of dust will come inside and the tires are really not meant for it however it is such an amazing and fun car to drive onto the throttle and my goodness you have to fight the steering wheel all the time because it's just going helter skelter it is just not able to put all that power down only it's just way too powerful than it should be so yes one of the few cars wherein there's way too much power then it is able to handle but hey i'm not complaining i was going to take a ride but then i realized there's a lot of dunes there oh i keep seeing this bulge on the hood i think that thing has been done just for the driver to feel more masculine because honestly it doesn't give me a good view of what's around at all and uh, some of the bits from this car if they're dropped they will be better because that will obviously improve the aerodynamics of this car and reduce the weight as well but then unnecessary elements are part of the brabus menu obviously so how did brabus actually start there was this guy in germany in the 1970s or something he had a car he wanted to customize it and he could not find the right customizer for his car so he started doing his own stuff but when he registered the company he needed another person you need two people to register a private limited company so in germany i think it's ag or whatever so he went to his friend and he told to aiga kya so he said ha chal done i will put my name namesake there he put his name so now they needed a name for the company so they took the initials of the founder and his friend and they put them together the founder's name is something from bra no bra no no you are thinking wrong and the other guy's name is from bra bus so that's how brabus came and then after the company was formed he left selling his take back for 100 euros only well that is how Brabus was actually formed. In fact, Mercedes supports Brabus a lot because they make some insane cars. In fact, there's a documentary of one and a half hours. Search for it on YouTube. You will understand why Brabus is Brabus. And they do only Mercedes tuning. They also started doing smart right now. And they've also started... Okay, I was going there and I realized there's a lot of sand. They've also started very, very, very recently. They've also started tuning KTM motorcycles. I don't know why they've done that. Anyways, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator and off we go. If you notice now, nah, I'm fighting the steering wheel all the time because we are in manual mode right now. Let me get out of manual and obviously it does not have air suspension. It has got adaptive dampers which get tweaked depending on the drive mode. So we are in Sport Plus. So Sport Plus obviously the dampers are more stiff and that stiffness can be felt. So the ride is not great at all. But this Brabus is what a G-Wagon should be. In Dubai, almost every G-Wagon is having either a Brabus kit, 90% a Brabus kit, 10% maybe a Mansuri kit as well. And these kitted up cars obviously make the G-Wagon stand out because the G63 AMG is just plain vanilla. I mean, what power is this? 577 horsepower is not much now. I think 577 horsepower is enough to put all that power down. With 800 horsepower, you can't put that power down only and that's one of the reasons why Brabus exists to make people realize that sometimes when you pay a lot of money you get stuff which is maybe suited to only a certain taste not for everyone's taste because it looks 
either a love it or a hate it in terms of the design elements and all that but brabus will tell you every independent element as well and the things are very expensive very very expensive so brabus is not cheap by any means of imagination obviously it will be very expensive because they say they really test all their parts however being a german tuning company labor cost is high now there so obviously that will also result in things costing a lot more for you as well like downshift downshift come on give me the power <laughs> what a car what amazing fun trust me on this i've never driven an suv this mental and i've driven a lot of fast suvs but this is just out of the world in terms of performance it feels too fast it feels too mental it feels too crazy and it feels like you know you're on steroids this car definitely feels on steroids it drives like it's on steroids and it is that very reason why brabus is brabus so you're going to launch it one last time before that let me change the cluster mode because obviously we can Oh, there we are in sport. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator. This thing also changed, and off we go. You definitely need to drive a Brabus. Trust me on this. They do some crazy work, and it's so enjoyable as well. Yeah, body roll is there and all that, but taking a car which makes no sense and tuning it like it makes no sense is what exactly is this Brabus G800 all about? Because the G wagon doesn't make much sense. but neither does brabus because the tuning is out of the world where can you use this much power well you simply cannot even if you try as hard as you like now enjoy these cars before mercedes goes crazy with the electric g which they are hell bent on getting and they are just not focused on the g63 amg anymore and it's also very old school there is no keyless entry there is no touch screen all that nobody cares about it because this g63 amg with the brabus tune on it is absolutely bonkers Our uh, traction control light is almost always blinking, and then let's not forget it has got ADAS function. It has got all that as well, and my God, it's jumping there. 